Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can optimize the search option in a select. And in the last video, I have shown you how you can apply select to on the like select to library on select. And in this video, I'll show you how to optimize that. So let's get started. Now, firstly, why we need to optimize that when you have a large number of data and you can load that data in a select. So it takes time and apply this search option on that even makes it more, you know, slower. So for that, let's start. I'm changing in my script. So let's write inside that, write curly bracket, then what I'm doing is I'm going to load my data with Ajax in JSON format. So start with Ajax, then I'm writing URL and I'm writing like select search.php. After that, I'll be defining the method. I'm going to that is post. After that, I'm going to send my data. For that, I need a function. And I need params in that, like parameters. And I'm returning that, like that function will return the data and that data is going to my Ajax data. And in return, what I am defined is search term. That, you know, term I'm going to search in the search book of select. So for that params.term, this will return the keyword that I'll type. Now next is process results. So this is specifically used for, you know, returning the response that we get from Ajax and displaying it in my HTML. So for that, write function and that will return the response, right? Response in like argument of the function and then return mm, what it's going to return as results and response. Now let me create my new file in which I'll be you know, calling the data. So let me include my database file. After that, what I need is I need to check whether my search term is blank or not. So for that, I'll be writing if and else condition in post because I'm sending my data in post. So I'll be checking is set is in post not equal to blank. So first condition is this that if search term is blank, then I'm going to you know fetch all the data that is select star from user and let's say I have only six data so I'm limiting it to six and after that in else if search term is present then I'm fetching that search term and I am defining like where the search term will match that data will be fetched so after that data I'm defining an array and after that I'm fetching my data with my SQLi fetch stroke and after that I am you know inserting that data into my array for that I need two fields one is like email I'm defining then ID when you like define your options in select, you write to, like a one value and one another, another is the text that will be shown. So these two values we will be, you know, returning. Let me just change ID and email because ID is the one that will be like giving the value and text will be the email that will be shown and I'm returning it in a JSON format. Now in my script, one more thing I need to change is the data type that I need is 
json and i need to remove this the php code from here so let's refresh actually data is not coming so for okay so i have not written text over here so there you make sure that you write text over there and whatever value you need that is defined on the right hand side now in browser you can see data is loaded and if you type anything then related to that only your data is coming and one more thing you can do with this is that you can also limit your the search term that if you want let's say only two or three or maybe minimum 10 you can load so that your speed is faster let's check in browser if i write f it's only showing two because i have set limit two you can try this out if you have search in your like whatever software so i'll be sharing the code also you can check it out and this is the end of the video i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you